It's a great machine with solid mechanicals. Have a listen to this. Last week we finished up on all the bodywork and primed the body ready for a top coat. This week we finally get to begin the process of painting the F100. To start off with we're going to give a couple of sections of this F100 a coat in Raptor. Raptor's going to give this car a tough look and a bit of dynamic with the paintwork. Firstly, we need to mask up the areas to make sure we don't get any overspray. Now we're going to give the areas a coat in Raptor's anti-corrosive epoxy primer to seal the surface. To start off with, we're going to mix up a 4 litre kit of Raptor white for the top of the roof and the bonnet of the F100. We gave the roof and the bonnet two coats of Raptor and flashed off 60 minutes between coats. Once you've added the hardener included in the box, you can mix in a tint up to 10% by volume. Raptor is a tough, durable, textured coating that protects your car from the elements. Raptor can be used not only just on automobiles, but a hell of a lot of other applications. Make sure to check out our data sheets on the website to make sure you're using a correct, suitable tint. Raptor helps deaden sound and vibrations. It's waterproof and UV resistant. It protects against rust, corrosion, damp, fuels, hydraulic oils, salt water and more, which makes it perfect for our application. We also decided to wrap to the inside, back and firewall of the F100 to cover up some of the imperfections left after the filling process and to toughen up the floor of the cab. Once we wrapped a coat of the cab, fuel tanks and underside of the bonnet, we then coated the inner guards and firewall and the radiator guard. Now we're going to give it a coat in red to make sure we don't have any colour matching issues when we do the rest of the panels. If you're going to paint a Ford F100, you're going to paint it red and white, why wouldn't you use Kenworth Red? Let's go! Before we paint the surface, we're going to give it a coat in Grip 4. Upol's Grip 4 is a ready-to-use universal adhesion promoter for paints, adhesives and sealants. It replaces the need to abrade surfaces in difficult to access areas. It can be overcoated with most water or solvent based paint systems and it also provides a protective barrier against lifting or solvent attack. we thought we might run into some trouble colour matching the tinted Raptor to the conventional 2K top coat that will be applied to the rest of the car. Just to make sure we don't run into any colour matching issues, we're going to give it a coat in conventional automotive white.
we decided to give the red areas another coat in 2K so that we could easily blend and colour match everything together. We then gave the rest of the panels a coat in clear. For this, we used System 20's 2081 HS Brilliant Clear Coat. We used System 20's standard hardener and thinned it up to 10%. Simply mix it up and spray it through a HVLP gun. It's an excellent clear coat that reproduces a high quality automotive factory like finish. It's got good flow and has non sag properties. It hardens rapidly to give a high build UV resistant coating. It has excellent gloss and long-term durability, and it's suitable for all types of paintwork application. System 20's 2081 clear coat can also be applied unthin. Make sure to head to our website to check out the safety and technical data sheets to make sure you're using the right compatible base coats. To coat the doors and guards of the F100, we decided we needed to move to a more paint-appropriate environment. Thankfully, the team at Kappa Motors in Narracore let us use their spray booth. We decided to give the panels a fresh coat in primer to remove any scratches left over from transit. We then sanded the surface again and gave it a clean, ready for a final top coat. First up, we're going to mix the Kenworth white and coat the panels using a gravity gun. We're going to give all the panels a coat in white, mask it up and have that red strip around the side like the original paint job. Now we need to mask up the panels and get the red paint on. We're ready to mix up the paint, thin it down and we're ready to spray.
Finally, it's time to remove the masking and give everything a final clear coat. We're so happy to see how this one came out and we can't wait to see it put back together. This week we finished up on painting the F100, coating the engine bay and parts of the cab in Raptor and painting the rest of the car in conventional two-pack automotive paint. Next week we finish up on the build, put the engine in and the rest of the car back together in time for the Denny Ute Master. For any information on the products used in this video, please head to our website rico.com.au for all the technical and safety data sheets. Make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss another episode. See you next week.